When you're working with thin sheet metal, it's best to try to minimize the heat you put into it, but that is not possible sometimes. And the reality is accidents happen like this accident right here where I blew through the seat pan in my motorcycle. Now, not a problem. You don't want to keep going with this. It tends to open up the hole even more if you just try to keep welding it shut until you go and grab one of these. This is a copper backer. All you do, hold it to the back of that hole and then just zip up that weld. And what this is going to do is it's going to act as a an area for the weld to sit on. If it gets a little hot, it's not going to drip down. It's not going to continue to blow through. It's also going to act as a little bit of a heat sink here. So once you get one of these held up to the back of the hole, it usually makes cleaning them up and filling those holes just a little bit easier. So let's flip this over and fill this thing in. So that's really all there is to one of these. If you are working with a bigger hole, might be better to just drill it out and pop a piece of metal in there. Our plug hole kit is going to be perfect for that. That gives you a perfectly round piece of metal to put in a larger hole. That's what you want to do for that. But for the small stuff, copper backer works great. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you check out our channel. We do a ton of great how-to videos that you're definitely going to want to see. If you want to check out these products, make sure you check out eastwood.com. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm JD. Keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.